Imagine your first date was this beautiful woman. She really liked you and gave her number. She responds to your text, but when you tried to get her out on a date, she made excuses. So then you texted her some more and she said she wants to see you. But when she did show up for the second date, she was late and uh, said she had to go early. She didn't kiss you. Now you are texting her and she's texting back, but won't agree to go on a third date. What should you do? Men like this are obsessed about the games women play. Or how to deal with texts from women. What would I have said to her is just let me know when you would like to get together again. If you are not this interesting, that's fine. So as you understand, today our topic is how to deal with woman texts. Oh hell nah brother, be clear in your intentions and our topic is neediness as the way of being unattractive. So we heard a story, there are so many youtubers who are trying to help young boys to find women or even to how to understand and win girls tests, but there is no test. There is only your intentions and boldness in your words. A man attracted less is inversely proportional to how needy he is. The less needy he is, the more attractive he will be to women on average. The needier he is, the less attractive he will be to women on average. But what does neediness mean? Neediness is when a man places a higher priority on other perceptions of him than his perceptions of himself. So a needy man's actions and words will be motivated by impressing and winning approval from others. So you are dressing the way like she will like. Not the way that you are like, but the way somebody else will do like. I would say it's pretending to be someone you are not. If you are playing this role, stop it. Now let's get back to non-neediness. Non-neediness is when a man place higher priority on his own perceptions of himself than the perceptions of others. A non-needy man's actions and words will be motivated by employing his own values and desires. To be non-needy is to be attractive in every way, it defines and resonates everything you say and do, the way you stand, the way you smile, the jokes you tell, the people you attract, the car you drive, the wine you drink, etc. You understand what is non-neediness, what is neediness, and now you have question in your mind how to become non-needy one. It's hardly connected with rejections. If you were rejected, let it go. It saves your time. It better for you. And it's really, really hard raining right now. So I'm gonna end this video. It is part one. We'll see you in part two. Because really of rain, I can't record now. So don't be nice. Be good. See you in the next one. Wabang.